My name is Gary Musto, I'm uh, Head of Mathematics at Kingswood School in Bath. I've been a mathematics teacher now for nearly 15 years and Head of Mathematics for seven. I really like my job and, and it's something I've got a great deal of um, satisfaction and, and fulfilment from it. However, one thing I do dislike about my role is that I'm constantly battling against a, a very negative perception of mathematics, um, often seen by pupils. I mean, you know, sometimes parents allude to it as well by saying things like, Oh gosh, I was really bad at maths when I was in school, you know, when we see them at parents' meetings and things. Um, and so really I, I wanted to try and think of a way of, of trying to engage pupils, trying to, to maybe make them perceive mathematics in a little bit more of a positive light. About two years ago I went to an IMA conference in Birmingham, uh, which is based in a Jaguar, Jaguar factory, and it was fantastic because there was a, a range of speakers there from industry and also from... Um, university life as well, all of whom gave some fantastic ideas and fantastic examples of where they use maths in the workplace. It really captivated me and I think I just wanted to come back to school and really try and think of a way in which I could try and emulate that in the Kingswood setting. Now the difficulty really when you're trying to engage people in the life of the school is, you know, how do you try and entice them back in? And I just hit on the idea, well, you know, every school has got two major sets of stakeholders which are parents and former pupils um, and therefore that's what I, I targeted with this project. So I thought that maybe contacting these former students would then allow me to build up a, a body of case study material which maybe I could show the students and then by showing those students that material they would not only engage with the material but they would also maybe even empathise with the examples because she is someone who went to Kingswood, they went to the same school as them, they maybe even sat in the same seats as them, and in some cases, uh, maybe even were taught by the same teachers. And so there's a natural connection there, and therefore there's hopefully an empathy building up as well. My name's Al Dawson. Uh, I'm currently living in London, uh, although I have been around the place in Germany, Iraq, Bosnia, and, and various other places as well. Um, I'm currently working at an engineering firm in London doing operations type work and that's sort of running, but running parts of the business, the rail sector. Before um, I did this job, about, uh, well, January of last, or December of last year, I had just got back from Iraq from a bomb disposal tool. Now, um, bomb disposal uses um, a load of maths in it. It uses complex modelling, it uses basic engineering principles, uh, but it also uses um, a sort of mixture of, of maths but also common sense. So for example, the, the three commando guys went into Pakistan when they had those terrible earthquakes, using big um, Chinook helicopters, those ones with the two rotor blades, airlifted a load of stuff into um, the, the high Hindu Kush and built um, basic lean-to shelters for the populations who all their, um, all, all their shelters had, had, had fallen down, and it's in the middle of winter. That's one of their primary needs. And then you would pull in a load of emergency services after that to deal with that. But in order to do that, you need to have a good understanding of maths, wind loading on, structure, on structures, basic sort of civil engineering type stuff. I heard about the alumni project in my last tour with the Royal Engineers in Iraq, and I got this email through from Garrett, and he said, I'm really interested in, in um, finding people who are able to illustrate um, to our students how they use maths in an everyday situation. And I thought, what a great idea. If someone had turned around to me when I was 16, 17, and said, um, I'm a bomb disposal operator, I use maths to get rid of bombs, um, to make things detonate, um, I would have been interested. You don't get that from teachers or parents, you don't really listen to them, if you're honest. But for someone to come in and say, 
wherever I've been and whatever job I've been doing it, whether it's been building shelters in Iraq, whether it's been shutting Basra down for the um, elections in 05, to doing bomb disposal work and now commercial work, maths is something that you need to get a grip of um, because you use it in absolutely everything that you do. No matter how you are, uh, how, how good you are at maths, if you work at it and you apply it and you can see a reason for using it, you will achieve um, good grades, good marks, or, or, or just even a good solution. My name is James Drake and I'm a sound engineer, mostly doing uh, live work for concerts and uh, recording concerts for broadcast and DVD. I went to university in Guildford and I studied music and sound recording. That's a four-year course and one of the requirements was maths A-level um, to do the course. I decided to get involved in the alumni project for the same reason that I get involved in many things. My nature is that someone asked me to help them out and I help them. So that was originally produced um, to play to cinema owners and the people that worked in cinemas when there was a changeover between films which were created with the soundtrack. They had all the new equipment to reproduce the sound. So this was a film produced by the filmmakers to demonstrate that to the cinema owners. But the principles are still exactly the same. It's just on a larger scale. So if I give you some examples, this is like a, a stage from a typical rock concert maths on the job. What we do normally, um, because, because it's all very hit and miss, you're on the road, you don't know what's going on, it's all unexpected, the deal is you try to do as much work beforehand as you can, and then afterwards, during the gig, you've got less work to do. So one of a good example of this is we call the decibel. So lowercase d and uppercase b. For other former students like myself who get approached by Gary Musso to get involved in the Alamo project, um, I think it's a worthwhile thing to do. There's um, no harm in taking a day out of your schedule and just talking to some students about what you do at work.